Arten, Harding, and Mazzotti. Well, earlier this month, the New York Farm Labor or Wage Board recommended to the State Labor Department to lower the overtime threshold for farm workers from 60 to 40 hours a week over the next 10 years. I'm joined now by managing partner Paul Harding from Martin Harding and Mazzotti. And Paul, many farmers are opposed to all this. Why is that? Well, you know, being a farmer is hard, right? We know that whether it's a Tuesday in August or it's the same as Christmas morning, right? The work has to be done. They're concerned that there's going to be just too many hours, not enough people, workforce is kind of thin, as we all know. Right. So I think it's going to scare people away. They might have to reduce their farms, even though they're offering a tax credit of 118% for every overtime dollar. They said, hey, it may not last and we're going to be stuck. Yeah, that was what I was going to ask you. The advocates for the change, what's their argument? You know, they're saying, listen, we got to move on, right? This is 2022. This has been happening. These are workers who work in dangerous environments. They work hard. So why is someone working at a different facility at a factory or a restaurant or something getting overtime and they're not guys let's just make it fair that's what they're saying gotcha and so what kind of impact might this have if any outside the farming industry how does this affect you know you and me well it always has that trickle down effect so what's going to happen is is if they reduce the size of their farms there's going to be less product prices could increase we know we're always talking about you know these chain uh, are going to get cut back on milk and, and some of the things if that happens prices will go up uh, and then I think just generally uh, is going to be more or less attractive for people and to enter into that industry. Right. And now is not a time when you really want to see prices increasing Prices anymore. increase or losing people working in your field. You know, it's still difficult to get folks in, in a lot of industries. Right. And so what is the timeline for all of this now? Yeah, the Labor Department has 45 days from September 6th. They decide they're either going to, they could make some changes. They could keep it the way it is, or they could just bounce it all together. So if you could imagine right now in Albany, there is a heated amount of conversation going on, and we'll find out what's going to happen within 45 days. Is this one of those things that could just etch out longer and longer and longer, though? You know, I, I think we're going to find something is happening this year. It's been brewing for a lot of years. I believe it's come to a head. The timing seems right. Something's happening, whether it's this exact bill but it's going to be something very similar to it. All right, Paul, thank you so much. You're Thanks for being with us. Yeah. Well, for more info covered in our weekly What Are Your Rights segments or to send us a story idea, just head to our website, cbs6albany.com.